Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Today we're going to tie a uh, stimulator. Old pattern based on a bucktail caddis and revolutionized by Randall Kaufman. We're going to use a 2312 hook here. You can use, the standard was a 200R and that is completely fine too. I've come to like this hook a little better. It's a little lighter and the larger sizes um, because it is a 1X fine hook whereas the 200R is a standard wire hook um, and it's got a little bigger gap you know in the smaller stuff so that's what I tie on. What at the tail in this fly is um, cow elk and you stack it tips down we're going to start out with our tail clump short tail about a gap we'll lock that in place loose wrap loose wrap pull tight snug her down. Now I'm only using 10 out I'm using 10 knot thread to set this hair, which is pretty amazing. I would have never thought that you could do that with this, but it does it quite well. So we have our um, tail tied in. And we've got our underbody established, and we're just going to clean this up by making some wraps and securing this so it doesn't turn on us or anything. We're going to tie some wire in here. And then we're going to take some hot yellow UV. Actually, is this UV? No, this is hot yellow ice dub, just the regular yellow. And we're going to dub that on there. Stuff's coarse, um, a little harder maybe to smooth out, I guess, would be how I should phrase it, than some dubbings. Um, but the effect of this dubbing, you just can't argue with on a body. It's translucent, good amount of flash in it. Um, I mean, how do you, it just looks awesome. So anyway, we're going to finish dubbing this off with some yellow ice dub. Okay, so now I need a brown hackle. We'll tie that. Sometimes these saddle hackles are hard to get them to face the direction you want them to. And I bring my wire up through and counter wrap. And that secures the hackle down. Tie that off. You can just grab your hackle, give it one little pop. It'll come out of there. So next, I'm going to go ahead and lay my thread base for the thorax. I've got abdomen done, everything looks good there. I'm going to set a wing. Elk hair again, cow elk, tips down in the stacker, stacker real well. And I want these, these will have a curve to them. I try to tie them so the curve is down. Wing just a little bit shorter than the tail. Loose wrap, loose wrap, pull down. Tight, 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 pull down again just to make sure, and then a few more. Don't let go of your wing because you want to pull this forward and cut it at an angle like that so that you have a nice smooth transition on your thorax taper and I'm just going to take some thread and secure this down this will also keep that wing from spinning on you you know sometimes these wings, these big heavy hair wings will try to do that. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're almost there. So now what we do is we take a grizzly hackle and we tie that in. You might ask, why do you counter rib the back but not the front? Well, that's a good question. Um, the back takes 
all the tear, most of the tear when you hook a fish. It's going to be hooked around the mouth in most of your fly fishing situations. So, you know, you don't generally get teeth up around here. You can break a hackle, but generally not. Got some orange. Ice stub again. This, I think, is UV. This is UV. A little hot spot action. And we're going to dub that in. I'm being pretty generous for my usual style of dubbing, but this is a big fly, so we're just going to go for it. And we'll just get that, and you want to make sure you get back on the wing a little bit, just to lay that wing in. Okay. We look good. We've got plenty of room for a nice bright head. Body's fairly well tapered. So I'm going to take that hackle, start there right over the wing, palmer it up through. Now I'm not going to make a lot of wraps because I'm going to bring a different thread in. So what I'll do here you know, they have the bright heads on these flies, so I'll just put a couple whip finishes on there. Cut that. There's a little trick for you. When you're, and I'll show you again here, when you're um, dealing with your thread around your hackles, don't try to cut it. Just take your sharp side of your scissors, get it down and close, push and pull. Generally, you won't have too much sticking out. whip finishes and build this head up so it's nice and bright. Nice thing about this ultra thread, it lays real flat and when you glue it, it just bonds to itself. So there is your stimulator. Tie in a variety of sizes. Ooh, I got a little errant here. Let's clean that up. Wing rolled on me a little bit. Stimulator.